if you have this type of skills in your own country try to apply to come here in canada and become a permanent resident in the future if you have this type of skills like you do barbers or your hairdressers you know those kind of skills right it's like a 160 150 we can tell you more now yeah so on today's video i'm going to the hair salon okay if you see my hair oh my goodness sake it's so bad so in canada if you are going to a hair salon you need to have an appointment you have to call them and make an appointment because especially at this time of pandemic the lady who is going to do my hair is uh, she's an indian lady her name is renuka <laughs> i'm going to talk to her and if she's okay i can blag her hairdresser here in canada they make good money okay so you stay with me until the end of this video and you know what it's end of like april the third week of april and it's still snowing i don't know so anyway i'll see you there okay yeah if you guys see it's still is snowing my goodness the good thing is not that cold guys so it's okay i'm okay for that because i don't feel cold there you go it's better hairdresser you make people feel confident they you make them feel like pretty <laughs> For the previous months we have a the we have a lockdown here in alberta so salons are closed so yeah it's been a year i never have my hair done i hate this because i forgot my mask <laughs> it's still mandatory you know you need to have your mask shoot i hate this sometimes i just get out and i forgot my mask so i have to go back to my get my mask so my appointment is at 1 12 30. There you go. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I have an appointment at 12.30 for Renoka. Yeah. Hey guys, she's doing a good job, you know. <laughs> Her dressing is a demand job, right? Yeah. It's a, dem it's a good job here in Canada. Yeah, Especially if you easy. open your own business, right? Yeah in this uh, type of job is once you build up your customers yeah. you are good right yes. where in india are you from i'm from punjab from where punjab yeah oh a punjab yeah so if you are going to be a hairdresser in canada how long you're going to be like you have to take a school right yeah nine months school or nine months yeah nine months okay like, uh, nine to five four five okay and then after that you can do practice right away right yes practice for like a 1400 hours you have to done your 1400 hours in oh. any hair salon okay and then after you ready for your like a license license you have to get the exam oh then. you have a license to be a hairdresser yeah, right? yeah. Oh, okay. after 1400 hours then you can give the exam oh yeah okay not right here. Oh. It's very hard. It's not easy, huh? Yeah, it's not easy. Are they hiring from o overseas, you think? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So how long are you doing this now? Mm, I'm doing for like uh, almost 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> it's from uh, Punjabi. <laughs> Punjabi? Yeah. Punjab? Yeah, I'm from Punjab. How do you say in ha hello? Hello. Pasikal. Pasikal? Pasikal. <laughs> Pasikal everyone. Pasikal everyone. So in Canada guys, if you're going to be a hairdresser, you need to go to school. Yes. After yes. nine months for school, then you can have some training. Ready for your license? Yeah. When you uh, like a done your all exam or then they give you like license and then, then you can open your own you can work anywhere whatever you want this is the good thing here in canada because you know yeah. you make good money for yeah. this type of job yeah. especially if you open your own yeah. like business you yeah. know she's my uh, lady who's doing all my job my hair for almost like four years three years now but uh, after one year i came back to her because you know of the lockdown here in canada she's awesome she live here. How long are you now here in Canada? Um, like almost 21 years. Wow. Yeah. How did you come here? Ah, come here for like a long, long time. 
Your parents sponsor yeah, you, right? Yeah, my parents. Your parents my sponsor. My parents come here before. First my sister in 93 and then my parents and then me. Wow. You're lucky, huh? <laughs> me, I came here like a nanny. <laughs> I work permit visa. Oh. You know? Here. If you, this is your skill, you come to Canada and you practice and you know open your own business. Very good. Are you going to be a high school graduate to do this job? People they want to go high school, they can do it high school too, but I uh, in college. It has to be at least college. Yeah. Oh. She did awesome. Now she's going to do my uh, eyebrows. eyebrows. So how much do you charge for the eyebrows? Ten. dollar for the eyebrows. Yeah. And uh, how much is charge for my hair? We gave you discount all the time because you are the regular client. I'm yeah. charging like one thirty for your hair, and then ten dollar for eyebrows. Ten dollar for eyebrows. Yes. One thirty yeah. for hair. Yes. But they usually charge for the hair. It depends. Yeah, our hair goes like one sixty, one fifty. It we depends. Are more now. Yeah. But how, about her, just, how about just only for haircut? For only haircut, 25 to 45. 25 to 35? No, 45. 45? Yes. Okay, so it depends on the like, hair you know, growth or whatever, how yeah. long is your hair. Yeah, you do some other kids too, right? Yes, yeah. Small, Small kids. kids or whatever, men, ladies, all type of. She's the expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay, I don't remove my shoes, yeah? I'm doing your address now. So, ten dollar, yes. one thirty. Okay. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> one, two, three, done. See? Doing this type of job, do you need to have an English examination for this, or? Yes. Yeah. You need to have an English yeah. examination. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The way how you learn, right? Yeah. Oh my God, See, I like that. <laughs> So here in Canada guys, if you have a haircut, you have to remember you need to give a tip for them. It's either you have, if you want to give a tip like a 5% or any amount of cash you can, any amount you can give it to them. So for me, I gave like $5 for a tip, you know, so it's all up to you. Oh boy. Okay guys, so I'm done for like three hours in that salon. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so if you have this type of skill in your own back home, if you are certified uh, hairdressers and uh, you know you have the qualifications, guys, try to apply through the Express Entry Program under the Federal Skilled Trades Program here in Canada, okay? So yeah, if you are good in hairdressers, uh, barbers, you know, then you know the people who are doing these jobs here in Canada making good money you know you know like only I stay there for like three hours I have to pay uh, 130 plus my hair my uh, eyebrow is uh, ten dollar and of course I have to give a tip so in Canada you have to remember if you are in Canada you you have to give a tips okay because uh, you know something to appreciate the person who do make you beautiful or serve you food if you eat in a restaurant right so that's how you're going to do if you are in Canada guys okay so hi nako yeah so i feel so good guys <laughs> now i feel so good again in front of the camera anyway i don't know how to make myself beautiful and i don't know how to put makeup so who cares anyway as long as uh what i share with you guys is something uh like something informative for you guys to gain some uh, ideas and knowledge about here in canada and that's the main goal why i'm sharing the information thank you again for watching and i'll see you again for my next video and god bless you and bye bye